Hi folks, Tommy and Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in beautiful Grand Rapids, Michigan. Today I'm going to tell you all about the 2017 Springdale 270 LE. It's a great bunkhouse model, you're gonna love it. Let's go ahead and start on the front here, we'll make our way back and then we'll head on in. So one of the first things you'll notice right here is the propane tank cover. Uh, inside you have two 30 pound propane tanks, so 60 pounds of propane, nice and easy to access. Just undo the thumb screws and then you can go ahead and lift the door up top. Behind that are the rails for your battery and then right here is diamond plating. Look how nice and high this diamond plating comes up. That way any rocks or anything that get thrown up by the tow vehicle will just hit this diamond plating and not scratch up the front end. So we come around to the side of the camper, we'll open up the pass-through storage, you can take a look in there, see nice large pass-through. Uh, the other thing I like about it is it has wide doors on here too, so if you do have larger items you need to stick in there, like zero gravity chairs for example, you can go ahead and fit them in. Power awning right here, you can see that's a nice long power awning, uh, touch of a button that rolls out, touch of a button rolls back in, super simple and easy to use. Also tucked right underneath that is an LED light strip, so if you do want to sit out here at night and turn some lights on, you can go ahead and do that, you don't have to worry about hanging up any Christmas lights. Also two exterior speakers which are con uh, controlled by the multimedia center inside, it's super simple to use, it is Bluetooth capable, so if you're sitting out here again, all you have to do is be on your smartphone or tablet and you can go ahead and control that from right out here. Three steps getting into the coach with the uh, aid of the easy grab handle right here make it extremely simple to climb in that way you don't have to worry about slipping and falling. Uh, right here is an outside TV connection so if you do want to watch TV outside it's really easy the whole mounting bracket actually comes out with the TV you can take the TV from inside put it right here connect your cable line right there and you can go ahead and watch TV again very simply uh, plug it in right there for you as well and you are right underneath the awning cover right where you want to be. If you take a look here you'll see spread axle system so that's great. Uh, the reason that's very advantageous is the wider the axles are apart the less chance for sway so that will give you better towability. Also this unit is equipped with the correct track alignment system. Uh, what that does it's been proven over time that your axles can actually become misaligned so with the correct track alignment system bring it in we can get those realigned for you without having to cut and re-weld the axles. Then right in the back here, open this door up, you'll see right here is an outside kitchen, absolutely phenomenal. Uh, all you have to do, pull this guy up, you can pull that out right there. You have a wash basin as well as the two burner cooktop and a light outside here, a shelf up top, and then right over here is your fridge and fr uh, refrigerator. So perfect place for all the condiments or beverages you want to put out here and I love having that in a bunkhouse. Come around to the back side with me. Uh, of course, bumper right there. On the bumper, is my, uh, you have your spare tire mounted. Hopefully, you never have to use it, but in the event that you do, it's great to have. Then on the off door side here, you also have an outside shower with both hot and cold access. All right, that'll wrap it up for the outside. Let's go take a look at the inside. Welcome to the inside of the 2017 Springdale 270 LE. This particular model is in the coffee interior. Let's start off right over here on the kitchen. You can see you get great countertop space. Uh, you have the extra space over here as well as right back here which is great and a huge sink right here in the center. I actually like having the single bowl sink because if you do have larger pots and pans you can fit them in here to be able to sit flat and it makes it really easy to wash with the pull out faucet. Um, and then the cool thing about having a big countertop when you have big countertop means underneath you have big storage. You'll see right here two full extension drawers as well as additional storage right over there. I also I like the pulls on here here. They've upgraded the pulls. Uh, they're nice and thick, have that uh, great stainless steel look. I think they did a really good job. Drawer right here and then right underneath the sink you have this cutout and extra drawer or er, space underneath which is perfect for the trash can. Three burner Atwood cooktop right here, uh, high output right in front and the standard oven down below. Additional space over here, which is perfect for a coffee maker. A coffee maker. You can see I have one plug in there, another additional one over on the other side of the countertop. But again, two full extensions over here. My opinion, perfect place for your silverware. So we move up top, you'll see LED lights right up here. Uh, LED lights throughout the coach, actually. That's a big deal, uh, especially if you're doing camping where you don't have full hookup, where you don't 
have shore power. You'll truly appreciate it. Not only do these not put out as much heat as your standard incandescence, but also they use a fraction of the power. So very cool. Storage right up top here, you can see that, as well as right over here. Big storage area there, and then your microwave in the middle. Weight on this unit, you can see right there, 6,900 pounds to so stand under that 7,000 mark, which makes this easily towable by most of your half-ton pickups. Right here's our fridge freezer combo. You can see the nice uh, stainless steel panels on the front. This is an upgraded seven cubic foot fridge freezer, so a ton of room. You look down right in here, you can see the fins are shielded, so you're not gonna cut anything or your hands while you're in there. And again, plenty of space. Uh, this unit also runs off both electric and LP. If you take a look right up top here, you'll see additional storage right up there. And then over to the side, large wardrobe space. I'll open this up. You can see the hanging rod across the top right there, which is perfect for the kids. Two large full extension drawers down below as well for all of your folded clothes. And then to the side, you have an option. This is a very versatile space. You'll see the top one's nice and tall. The other ones here have a shelf built in. Uh, so if you wanna use this for extra pantry space, you can do that. Or if you do need the extra space for clothes, you can certainly use it for that as well. Now right in the back corner are the two bunks. You'll see they're double wide bunks, 300 pound weight limit on there. So the neat thing about that is if you know you have uh, two kids you wanna sleep per bunk, you can certainly do that. Maybe they wanna bring a friend, a cousin, something like that, you can certainly accommodate them. Also window both top and bottom as well as a light on the top and bottom too. Then if you take a look right underneath here, you'll see additional storage. It is kind of dark in there, kind of tough to see, but uh, that will be on the back side of the outside kitchen, so great extra storage underneath the rear bunks. Let's take a look at the bathroom. Uh, right here, you'll see the uh, foot flush lever toilet, plenty of leg room all the way around. Tub shower there, which is exactly what you want for the kids. You have a shelf, hand wand, and a skylight up top. Uh, over to this side is the mirrored medicine cabinet with your sink top and vanity down below there and additional storage. As we come outside the bathroom, one of the things I'd like to talk about uh, on the 270 LE, if you take a look at the ceiling, you can see it has a nice arched ceiling on here, which is great. Really gives you a lot of headroom, feels nice and open. You don't feel closed in and claustrophobic. So I like that they went ahead and did that. Right over here is the super slide, big U dinette, which is exactly what you want, you know, when you have the kids with you. That way everyone can sit around, have a meal together, uh, you know, play games if you want. The table also drops down into a bed. So if you do need additional sleeping, you can sleep to additional adults right here. Large windows all the way around, let in a ton of natural light. And right here you will see two USB ports. So if you need to charge a cellular device, you can go ahead and plug it in right there. Up top here, you have additional storage. You can see that right there. Same thing there. And then right down below, this is the optional theater seating. So I like the theater seating in, um, in this coach because you have the U-Dinette if you need to sleep additional guests, you have the bunks. So you know, this is great for two people to just kick back, relax, cup holder here, as well as a tray for the remotes. Now as you're sitting there, you're probably gonna wanna watch some TV. That's not a problem. That'll be right here. Uh, if you notice, both the TV and the multimedia center right down below are Jensen Electronics. The thing I like about that is that Jensen uh, what uh, a lot of people don't know, but it's one of the top name brands in RV electronics. These are built specifically for the RV industry to be able to withstand the temperature extremes, as well as the shocks and vibrations from going down the road. So top name brand electronics in here. The multimedia center, uh, I did touch on briefly when we were outside, but this is your radio, CD, and a DVD player. So if you wanna watch a movie, go ahead and pop it in right there and you can go ahead and watch it. And again, this is Bluetooth capable. Right down below, you have some additional storage right there. And then again, more storage right here up top. Let's go ahead and take a look into the bedroom. So a couple neat features about the bedroom. Uh, one of course is if you take a look at the bed, you have a queen bed here. I like that you have cutouts on both sides underneath the wardrobe. Uh, that gives you plenty of space if you wanna put a glass of water there, if you're charging a cell phone, or if you have a CPAP machine, both sides have a plug-in so you're able to sleep on either side of the bed. Also right over here, this lifts up. You have a, a clothes hamper right there for dirty clothes so you can just stick your laundry basket underneath, drop them right down in. And then a 
above, as I mentioned, these are uh, wardrobes. You have hanging wardrobe space there, a rod in there, and then an excellent shelf right here up top with the LED light underneath for reading. Also, windows on both sides do allow for an excellent cross breeze. If you don't want to turn on the AC, maybe it's a nice cool night, you can go ahead and open them up. All right, folks, that's just about gonna wrap it up. Uh, again, this is the 2017 Springdale 270 LE. This one is in the coffee interior. I love this coach. It's a fantastic value. You know, you have the outside kitchen, you have the two big back bunks, the large u dinette, theater seating. This is one you have to come take a look at. If you do have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave those in the section below, or you can always give myself, Ian Baker, a call here at American RV, and I'll be happy to answer that way as well. If you have particular questions on the specs of the unit or if you're looking for price and availability, I recommend you visit our website, which is AmericanRV.com for the most up-to-date information. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.